Hi, I'm Tyler, and welcome to another episode of my Christian Media Week reviews. Each week I take five releases, be it out, BPs, or singles, and after I've listened to them all week, I come back here and I read them and share what I think about them. So without further ado, let's get this week's first release. KB's new album, His Glory Alone 2. KB's new album, His Glory Alone, the sequel to His Glory Alone, KB's album that came out in 2020. If you want to go back and hear my thoughts on the first His Glory Alone album, I reviewed that on my channel, so you can go back and check it out after we're done here. But let's talk about His Glory Alone 2 here. So, pretty good album here. Stylistically, definitely mostly on the hard-hitting hip-hop side of things. Got some definite trap influence. Got some worship elements as well. And also pop and Afro beats and R&B elements at some points as well. Though most of it's on the hard-hitting hip-hop side of things. Or at least some of it on the danceable hip-hop side of things. There are a few songs in here that kind of change up the face that have a little more of a ballad feel to them. Like Your Way featuring Brit Nicole has kind of a contemporary worship ballad feel to it. Also, there's a reprise of Grabe. Of Graves, correct myself here, that just has Brit Nicole singing an R&B worship style ballad feel. And then there's also a song called Daddy featuring Deshaun X. And that's a little bit more of a contemporary R&B ballad. So, mostly hard hitting or danceable, but a few chill moments as well here. Vocally here, KB raps, sing raps and sings all throughout the album here. And as for the lyrics here, pretty good lyrics here as well. KB talks about how Jesus is forgiving love and grace. Drew the cross has resurrected KB free from a sinful past to change KB to glorify Jesus by fearlessly taking Rixes to reflect that love to others, including his family. Even in hopelessly hard times of opposition, where KB trusts his God to protect him, give him strength to overcome, and eternally reward him. Up next, Anna Golden's new live worship album, Church. Anna Golden's new live worship album, Church. Let's dive into it. So, pretty good album here. Stylistically... The first two songs are upbeat worship, but then the rest of the album kind of goes into a little bit more of a worship ballad feel, some of it getting pretty soft at times. Also, the worship sound contains elements of contemporary and alternative. And as for the lyrics here, love the lyrical themes here, particularly moving on from themes, particularly the themes of moving on from a hurtful past. Anna's desire to give her whole life to glorify Jesus. And also the pursuing of greater miraculous things. And as for the lyrics here, Anna talks about how the Lord Jesus in his grace restored Anna free to forgive her past of hurt, to move on from it, to be changed, to give her whole life, to pursue greater miraculous things as God gives her strength. To live her purpose of glorifying Jesus for how he has kept his promise to give her new life and will keep his promise to reign forever. Up next, King's Kaleidoscope self-titled album. King's Kaleidoscope's self-titled album. Let's dive into it. So, pretty good album here. Stylistically, definitely an alternative album that... Also incorporates elements of pop rock, lo-fi hip-hop, R&B, and pop. Most of the album is pretty upbeat or danceable. I would say the all-out ballad on this album is all the emotions. And as for the lyrics here, so I have to kind of admit, admit on the first couple listens, it was kind of hard for me to figure out. Out the exact meanings of the songs and who is 
King Kaleidoscope's lead singer Chad Garner even talking to in each song? Is he talking to God or is he talking to his wife? But by the third listen, I kind of could come together with a cohesive theme throughout the album. And here's what I think the theme of the album is. And it's pretty good, by the way. And as for the lyrics here, lead singer Chad Gardner talks about how his wife has let a past of fear hold her back from the potential of achieving her dreams of shining, of achieving her dreams of shining her light that the Holy Spirit has placed inside of her. And Chad wants to forever love her faithfully through the emotions of God drawing her to come as she is, to trust in Jesus' grace through his death to change her so that she can shine that light. Up next, Rara Breed's new album. Rara Breed's new album, God Twangs 3, the next chapter. Let's dive into it. But before I do... Let me just say, if you want to go back and hear my thoughts on God Twang 2 Reloaded, I also reviewed that album on my channel, and you can go back and check that out after we're done here. But let's talk about Rara Breed's new album, God Twang's 3, the next chapter. So, pretty good album here, stylistically. Definitely a hard-hitting collection of hip-hop bangers, for the most part. Of course, as the God Twang name would reference, definitely strongly influenced country hip-hop sound. I kind of like Rara Breed's Southern approach to rapping here. Also, too, um, strongly lo-fi influenced, and I would say it's kind of amazing how hard-hitting his raps still remain, even when on the lo-fi beats. You usually don't hear that on lo-fi beats. Also, too, there are some songs that contain trap elements as well here. And, of course, all combined with country elements. Vocally here, Rare Breed raps, sing raps, and sings. And as for the lyrics here, pretty good lyrics here, too. Really like how it shows how Jesus has changed Rare Breed. And also, too, I like how he talks about trust. God and the waiting instead of trying to run ahead of God and control things on his own and ultimately make a big mess when, right, as we humans tend to do when we try to control things on our own. And as for the lyrics here, Rara Breed talks about how he surrenders his past of anxiously trying to control things that led him to criminally sin in a way that should have imprisoned or killed him. Oh, how, about how he surrenders the past to be the past to be saved by Jesus's sacrifice on the cross and resurrection to be changed to love his family well and trust God in faith that he will give strength and a way in perfect timing for rare breed to follow Jesus's will of sharing this change with others. Up next, our last release for today, Lakewood Music's. New Reimagined DP Shout Reimagined by Lakewood Music's Shout Reimagined by One EP. Let's dive into it. So, pretty good Reimagined DP here. So, I'm gonna go song by song to kind of describe the sound here. So, the first song is called This Is the Day, and the Reimagined version has a little less of a pop emphasis, I would say, while still retaining the gospel elements, and kind of has a upbeat gospel pop rock feel to it, I would say. The second song, Do What Only You Can Do, which is combined with In The Name, so both versions of Do Only What You Can Do have a contemporary worship ballad feel to it. But this version's played in a different key. And the final track, Shout. So the original version 
was definitely this all-out alternative rock worship song. But the new version has a little more bass guitar, a little less electric guitar, and has kind of a little bit more of a upbeat alternative pop rock worship feel. Again, pretty good reimagined EP here. And as for the lyrics here, and I'm going to speak for the whole EP here, and I gotta say, love the bold faith here expressed throughout the CP. And as for the lyrics here, Lakewood Music talks about how Jesus in his mercy gives us the joy to move on from our past, to trust God to be sovereign, to faithfully keep his promise, to victoriously fight for miraculous restoration of good for us in the impossible. Well, that's it for this week. Come back next week for five more releases. If you like what's on this video, please subscribe. I put out videos every Friday at 9.30 on Facebook time. Also, if you have any thoughts on these releases or what I may have said about them, let me know down in the comments below. Also, in the comments, you can let me know if there's any awesome releases that came out today that you want to see in next week's video. Also, check out the playlist section for me. The most range playlist available here on YouTube and also on Spotify. And this month's edition of the playlist includes songs from artists like Matthew West, Josh Wilson, Jordan Felice and others to go and check that out if you're interested. Well, go now. See you next week. Bye.